In this tutorial, let's continue with the transformation features toolbar. So let's open up a new work file to do it. Part, click on OK. So the first option that comes is a translate. So to do that, let's create. Let's go for a centered rectangle. Click on the center. And now exit. Go for a pad. Now we have a cube. Now we need to translate this. Go for the translate. Yes. And select the Okay, you just have to select the Y, y option and then go for the distance. The distance you could just drag and drop. So the object is translated. Now let's see the next option. That is the rotation. So for rotation, select the rotate, click on yes. The axis could be the Z axis and the angle could be as you move around it follows so that's about the rotate now the third one is a symmetry so for doing the symmetry let me show you it's slightly different from the mirror command which we have explained previously in this case select the symmetry option and click on the plane with respect to which you are doing the symmetry click on ok what happens is the parent object is being hidden and a new symmetry is created now let's delete that and get our parent object here the fourth one is an access to access translation or transformation so in this case we need two axes. So let's first create an axis system. So this as well doesn't come in our uh, part design explanation, but for the sake of this tool explanation, I'm explaining this. So create point zero zero zero. Click on OK and uh, click on OK. So if we go to the axis system, we can see the first axis. So let's name this axis system. For renaming, click and Alt Enter. Go for Feature Properties and rename this as uh, Origin. And create another axis system. In this case, go for Create Point and uh, translate the point uh, 1000 mm. Click on OK. I guess a 100 mm will do. That will be fine. Click on OK. Click on OK. That creates the next trans uh, the next access system. In this case, you can rename it as uh, target. So we need to move this object from this access system to this access system. So what we can do, we can go for the access to access translation click on yes the reference origin target click on ok and the object is translated and that was the translation option the different translation option in the transformation toolbar finally we have another option coming that is the scaling if you click on the scaling and click this as the reference as you give the values if you give three the scaling happens so if we give 1.5 the scale of 1.5 is added to that particular face so that's about the transformation feature and i hope you enjoyed keep watching
So see what comes in the next chapter.